Shut up and sit down. Namaste friends, I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And before we even get into our silly reaction videos, we just wanted to once again acknowledge the COVID-19 pandemic in India and just how terrifying it must be to be there right now with the loss of life and the number of cases spiking. So first of all, we just wanted to say that anyone there is in our thoughts right now. We really hope that all of our viewers and their families are as safe and well and keeping as safe as you possibly can in the current circumstances. And also, if anyone has a couple of spare dollars or pounds or rupees in their pockets, then please head over to give to the number two asia.org, who effectively collect money and funds and then pass them on to charities in India who are doing things like distributing masks and ventilators and, and the COVID vaccine itself. So anything that you can do to help give to Asia will help people who really, really need it. And unfortunately, the only practical thing that we can do is try to distract you from that for 10 to 15 minutes a day. So we hope we're able to at least achieve that. And as usual tonight, therefore, as with every night, we're being surprised by you guys, our viewers, who have recommended that we check out the trailers for certain movies, and we're filming our silly reactions to those. So what do we have coming up next? Well, next up, we have a 2019 epic war drama, a Hindi language movie that lots of people have recommended that we check out. Now, this movie is called Panipat, and it's based on the third battle of Panipat from 1761, which is actually thought of as being one of the largest and most eventful battles of the 18th century anywhere in the world. And that includes a certain country that was going through its war of independence. So, wow. yeah, we, you, you got something to say for that. Now, when I was researching this movie, two things really jumped out at me. First of all, you've got the Maratha Empire, who ruled India in those days, who were being invaded by the Afghan army. But the Afghan army was actually being bolstered by four different groups of allies from India. The other thing that shocked me was there were about 125,000 people involved in this battle, which lasted several days. However, around 60,000 people, and these are conservative numbers, around 60,000 people died in that battle, which is just, you know, more than half the people there. There are some reports that say 100,000 people died in that battle. So you're talking about a battle with, first of all, a lot of people, but people that were so committed to the outcome on both sides that nobody was willing to back down. So I'm expecting something quite epic from this movie, and you know how much I love medieval battles, so it seems like it's going to be my thing. I don't know whether you're going to love it, but uh, we're going to check out the trailer for Panipat right now. If you want to see what we think about it, stick around until afterwards, but for now... Let's go. Let's go. Oh, whoa. Wow. Oh, Maratha. my goodness. Bharat Bhumi ke wo yodha, jin ke liye unka dharm aur karm unki veerta hai. Oh, nice. Yudh mein dikhai gai shurta ke liye, Peshwa ke chachare bhai, Shri Mant, Sada Shiv Rao Bhav ka abhinandan ki a jata hai. Zahu te amala. मैंने सुना है जब पेशवा अकेले मुहिम पर जाते हैं तो एक मस्तानी के साथ लौटते हैं मेरे जीवन में तुम ही हो और तुम ही रहोगे शस्त्र पूजन के समय आपने पेशवा तलवार सदाशिव को क्यों दी सदाशिव का हर कदम हमेशा मराठा साम्राज्य के हित में ही रहा है oh, आज हम पूरे हिंदुस्तान के शासक बन गए हैं कोई है ही नहीं एक है जहां पर अहमद शाह ताली अब ताली के आने का मतलब है पूरे हिंदुस्तान पर आक्रमण इस बार एक लाख की फौज लेकर आ रहा है पिछली oh, wow. बार जब वो यहां आया था तो यमुना का पानी सात दिन तक लाल था मोर का तक तो ये कोही नूर बड़ी मशक्कत से पाया जाता चीन ने से नहीं मिलता तलवार खींच लो इस बार हमें उसे रोकना होगा बार इन्हें हरा दिया ना फिर दहली क्या पूरा हिंदुस्तान आपका वो एक 
आपकी फूल लेकर आ रहा है तो हम कोई आपके घर पर हमला करेगा तो आप शत्रुओं की संख्या गिनोगे या फिर पूरी ताकत के साथ उसका सामना करोगे हम सफाया कर देंगे तो फिर हमारे बंदूक आप इस बार अब ताली को ऐसा सबक सिखाओ कि वो दोबारा हिंदुस्तान की तरफ देखने की है तुम्हारे साथ मुहिम पर चलूंगी सुख में पीछे रहूंगी और दुख में आगे आ जाऊंगी अब गाली को भी पता लग जाए कि अभी तक हमारे धरती में वीर योद्धा खत्म नहीं हुए हैं अब हमारे बीच कोई दरिया नहीं है अब हमारे बीच सिर्फ पानी पत की रणभूमि है Yes. तू छोटे से जमीन के टुकड़े के लिए अपनी जान देने जा रहा है मैं इस धरती के मिट्टी के एक कण के लिए भी मरने को तैयार हूँ Wow, oh my goodness. That last 2 second montage of wow. just stab stab stab. That was pretty cool. Um wow, what did you think of the trailer for Panipat? I really liked the again we get the sweeping vistas. We get the huge armies and I love how they do such a good job of really conveying the enormity of the forces that are coming against each mm. other like just how many people are involved in each one i really love how they have those kind of sweeping shots across the fields that was really awesome and it is similar when we've seen other historical movies with big armies against each other it's it's similar in tone to those so i really enjoyed that i don't know that we've seen a movie so far that has put so much attention to detail in the costumes either yeah like just the intricate beading and just the mixtures of fabrics and textures from a costume in point of view that is a step that a lot of movies don't bother taking because it doesn't necessarily um kind of it doesn't necessarily get picked up by the audience but you can just tell it just um it just gives so much more depth to this movie when you're looking at kind of the richness of the leaders involved it just really um makes them seem more powerful and when you see the effort that's gone in and definitely you know how i love when women are allowed to get involved in movies <laughs> yes and we got to see a woman fighting and yes. that is really that's a really promising sign i don't know if she would have been allowed to fight in real life back when this event was actually happening but i like it that that she was given some agency with that i would guess that if your home is under threat you're probably allowed to do whatever you want to defend it and she did get involved yeah i agree with you actually about how stunning the costumes are maybe it's because we just watched the trailer for rade which is super western in the way people dress it's guys in armani looking shirts and women in daisy duke cut off denim shorts you know and then to see this where they're in traditional not only traditional indian dress and armor but also haircuts like having the, the like the shaved head that he had in one part and also the makeup like not only the traditional makeup but like the different symbols that they had on their foreheads mm-hmm. as well i'd love to know actually more about what those are i need to do some some more reading clearly but uh, yeah that really jumped out at me the quality of the the costumes and how historically accurate they were trying to make this You know the other thing when I was looking into this is this movie was not a commercial success at all like it wow. really did not do well at the box office and critics didn't seem to dislike it that you know there wasn't much criticism of it it just didn't make a lot of money and therefore um it it seemed to be underwhelming from a commercial standpoint but I at least know a bunch of people who wanted us to check this movie out. So, I wonder if it's one of those movies that kind of generated a cult following after it, you know, mm-hmm. was underwhelming at the box office. But yeah, if you've seen it and you love it or if you've seen it and you hate it, I'd love to know what you think about it as well. The other thing that I spotted, we've seen a lot of movies that have focused on the saffron color mm. as being very important. and so a lot of the kind of patriotic indian movies we've seen 
um, the good guys have a lot of saffron in their clothes and in their um, flags, and like all that that kind of symbolism of the color. With this, we saw the opposing force had a lot of burgundy in their ah. colors, and I'm wondering if there's a relevance to the burgundy color, like where that comes from. Because I know um, the, the saffron is there's a lot of symbolism in the saffron, um, and a lot of significance of the of the saffron itself. So I'm wondering if there's a history behind the burgundy color as well. Yeah, and people have been taking the time to educate me a little bit in the comments around saffron, and we covered it I think first in Tanaji, the Unsung Warrior, which was about the the rise of the Maratha Empire. And the Maratha flag in that was saffron, so they were raising the saffron flag. Uh, Kesari obviously means saffron, and, mm. and they were wearing saffron turbans. And, you know, saffron in that sense was a very kind of spiritual thing that meant bravery and sacrifice, and it was seen as being really, really important. And that's why that, that original Maratha flag's color has become part of the modern-day Indian flag. But yeah, I would also be fascinated to hear, I guess the, the burgundy, the reddy color must have been something to do with the Afghan tribes people who were trying to invade. Yeah, I, uh, there was so much there. The other thing that jumped out at me as well was, uh, you know, reading through just the Wikipedia page about the real historical events, this was a brutal, bloody battle. And even to the point where prisoners were just executed afterwards, thousands and thousands of them, there were no hostages or, or prisoners taken, they were just killed. There was that much animosity between the two sides. And the stakes were thought to be that high that if you let these people live, they're going to come back and do this again. Again. So it was, uh, yeah, very brutal. And the trailer at least conveys that. And mm. I like that. You know, if, if, if you're going to take one of the more brutal battles from history, do it justice and do it well. And it seemed to do that in this trailer. So, yeah, this is the kind of thing. You know, I, I love movies like Braveheart and even Troy I really liked. And this seems to take that same thing where you've got huge armies fighting each other, but then it focuses in on individuals who are fighting within that army. I think that is super cool. So yeah, big, big fan right here. Would you watch Panipat? Definitely. Ah, yeah. okay. Very visually stunning. We haven't said that in a few videos actually now, but it was very visually stunning. And I think just for the costumes alone, mm. that sucked me in. Um, I'm a bit of a fabric nerd, costuming nerd, and just you would have had to have like literal literal armies of um, costumers working on this kind of a, a movie so it saddens me that it didn't do better um, just because of that um, the effort that went in and the attention to detail but I'm really glad that we've had so many people recommend it because clearly that shows that that kind of work is appreciated and it you know it shows in the final product even if you don't notice those details it, like I said, it just brings that richness of experience when you're watching it and really adds depth to each scene. Yeah. Yeah, and I also like how complex the story behind this battle is. Like, why did four different Indian leaders choose to side with the invaders? And, you know, what was it about the Maratha Empire that had alienated them? And I don't know a lot about that period of Indian history at all. But, you know, it, it feels to me that if you like really complex political intrigue storylines, things like Game of Thrones and Brave heart and dune you know you would probably enjoy the the story that builds up to this uh, third battle of panipat in this movie so man a lot to love there well hey again thank you so much for recommending panipat to us and again i just want to say our thoughts are with you in india right now we really hope that you and your families are all as safe and as well as you possibly can be in the current climate so yeah hang in there friends and as usual you will see us again tomorrow because you know how often we do this? Every day. Every day. So we will see you then, friends, on the next Dork Trailer Ambush. Peace out, nerds. Bye. Shut up and sit down.